Woo! God dang. This is a big box, but it looks nice though. It fills up my whole unboxing table. <laughs> How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. I've got my unboxing knife ready and I've got a new box in front of me. This is the Dyson V11 uh, vacuum cleaner and this has got a wider cleaner head, it's got a bigger bin, it's got 60 minutes uh, of battery life as well and it's it just it's a Dyson. Uh, let's unbox it and see what it gets, gets inside the box and see what it's all about and uh, my partner's been doing the hair in the house and uh, we've got hair all over the carpets. Uh, so we're going to be putting this to test on the carpet as well to see quick uh, run of how this actually works and uh, show you guys an example of what it looks like in the real world. Let's get into it. Ooh, I love unboxing stuff. It's that experience, experience. Here we go. Careful with a knife, shop. So this is the V11. Every time you unbox a product from Dyson, it almost feels like unboxing a new Apple product. Uh, it's just neatly laid out. I love the packaging and stuff. Uh, but first thing first, we get this uh, big booklet, which I'm guessing has got instructions. Yes, instruction manual, safety instructions, all that stuff. So give that a read and uh, keep it safe as well. You might need it again in the future. And uh, I might not know exactly what these things are called inside of this, but uh, we'll go through them and see what each thing actually is. So we've got this uh, item first to take out. One of the nozzles that you can change. Again, typical uh, ejecting button there so you can easily remove it. We'll put that to the side. See this one. This is the main vacuum nozzle. As you can see there again, ejector buttons to uh, sort of detach things if you need to detach them. Uh, nice little mechanism there, but all these nice soft brushes looks really nice and feels nice and soft. You know when this is spinning, it's gonna be sucking in loads of dirt off your carpet. Put that to the side. Like I said, it's like unboxing a new Apple product. Everything is neatly laid out. Uh, this is nice as well. It looks like aluminium, but not entirely sure there, but it looks very robust. And I love the red color. Red is my favorite color, uh, so it's nice. And then we've got this uh, attachment area as well, another tool there. We'll see what they're all about in a second. Empty box. Some more stuff on the side. So many attachments uh, that comes with this thing so you can fully clean your house. By the way, this is called the outsized version. So if you guys are familiar with the V11, there's also an absolute version as well. So they've taken a lot of technology uh, from that to put into this, uh, but with a bigger uh, cleaner head and a bigger bin as well. Wider cleaner head and a bigger bin uh, for bigger houses, basically. That's why the name outsize. Another brush attachment. Um, one of the unique selling point of this is the fact that it's cord free, so you don't have to drag that cable around with you. I've got another Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner that I use uh, day to day, uh, every week rather. And uh, with that, you have to carry that cable around with you and relocate it as you're cleaning the house and stuff. Uh, my house is not exactly big, but uh, yes, still dragging that cable around with you behind you is can be a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, we've got this attachment as well, which sort of like rotates and clicks into place as well. So you can hear that clicking sound. As it locks into position, it just uh, clicks into place as well. Another cleaning head uh, here, attachment. Again, the ejector button to remove it. This is a hard brush. So this might be useful for those stubborn uh, things that you need to remove from your carpet. This will be useful for that. Another box here. This looks like storage stuff. I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, I'll check out the user manual in a second. Let's see what that's about. Some screws here. So yeah, so it might be, yeah, storage stuff. So you can sort of screw them onto the wall and uh, you can store it away when you're not using it. Yeah, so this is the instruction manual for that uh, storage uh, bit of it. So if you wanna store it on the wall, hang it away. Uh, this would be great for that. So keep that instruction manual so you know what to do. On to the next box, uh, another user guide in here. You can see there, shows you how to attach and detach with a click. We'll keep that to the side. That will come in handy for how to put them together. And that's the power cable. True Dyson fa uh, fashion, looks very similar to other Dyson uh, plugs that I've got in the house already. Uh, this looks really nice. 
And yet again, another attachment, as you can see there, again, detach, attach area, and you can see the spinning brush there. This is a hard brush inside, and it's got tiny extra brushes on the edges just to help it, you know, advance it there. So this sort of moves, so you can imagine if you're going like this, you'd be able to get those uh, important dirt out of your carpet. Oh, some more nozzles here, some more cleaning head uh, to use. Again, this is a softer brush, and another tiny little brush area there. Again, just to clean those tiny bits out of your carpet. And then you've got this adjustment area there that you can use to adjust it as well. And it locks into position, into place. So you can press it down, adjust it as you wish to do so. Really cool. Another one here to clean those tiny corners of the house, uh, spe uh, specifically by the, you know, the skirting board and stuff. You can use this to clean that off as well. Uh, fun fact, I never use, I don't really use all the cleaning heads uh, that I've got with my other vacuum cleaner, so <laughs> I end up storing them away somewhere, but they give you everything you need in case you've got that big house and different areas for you to clean and stuff like that. Another uh, cleaning head attachment, as you can see there, this just folds away, extends really nicely. Again, just the attach, detach button there. So this will come in handy to attach things to the actual uh, back in the V11 itself. Another box to go. <laughs> so this is the main man itself. This is the main the cleaning head, uh, as you can see here. Uh, you can adjust this as well, as you can see there. Middle, plus, minus, and it clicks into place to let you know when it's uh, fully clicked, fully uh, when where it needs to be. So you've got a mixture of brushes here. Uh, this is quite hard, the blue one, and then the black one is softer. Well, it's nicely aligned so when it's spinning it just sucks in all the dirt off your carpet like air particles and stuff like that and then you've got this nice soft brush on the edge as well which is pretty neat and then this rotates as you can see there and it also goes up and down if you've got another vacuum cleaner from dyson you notice this design here looks a bit like the ball that goes uh, at the center of it um and then you've got this to detach it so if you want to change the brush inside here. I won't take it out, but you can detach it using that area there. And then once you're done with it, just lock it into place and it clicks into place as well. Just making sure there's nothing else in the box before we uh, actually concentrate on this big guy. <laughs> here we go. So all the stuff are out of the box now. So this is the main item itself. Just remove more boxes off it. My local skip is gonna have a field day. Uh, with all this recycling to be done with this box. Uh, so you have to fully charge it before use. So 20% charged uh, before you can actually, uh, this is 20% charge out of the box rather, but you should fully charge it before you start using it at all. Uh, if you just take this uh, user guide off. So here, we have all the information here. So we have different modes, auto mode, which is recommended, does everything for you. Uh, eco mode for long cleans. Uh, so saves saves battery life there because it's got 60 minutes of usage. Uh, you've got boost mode for occasional use when you've uh, absolutely made a mess and you want to quickly just clean the whole thing up uh, very quickly. Uh, or if you get those spiders in the house and you want to suck in those spiders, that would be the one for that. And then you have that point and shoot uh, hygienic bin empty and so just remove it and you can empty the bin, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to touch that dirt that's inside of it. And then it's written in other languages as well. So you got Modo Automatico, no, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> so we just take that, uh, leave that to the side so we remember where that is. Uh, but this is the V11 outsize itself, so you can see that larger uh, bin area and the wider head as well, which is pretty neat. It's not that heavy at, at all as well, which I quite like. So if this is too heavy, it just becomes bothersome. So you might as well get the bigger version uh, in that case. But uh, you can see here, it looks very snazzy. I like the look of it. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun uh, playing with this. Uh, so on here itself, so this is where you attach uh, of the, of, uh, the attachment, include the main nozzle if you want to do that. Uh, tells you when it's full, so maximum size over there. On this side is where the battery is, easily detachable as well, so just uh, use that red there. So every red uh, area that you see on here is usually something that you can press to detach something. Uh, so that's the battery pack that you have there. And then just click it back into place nicely. Uh, gives you a feedback as well for when you click it into place. And then up top is where the magic happens. So you've got the button there and a little display to tell you what's happening. Uh, so we've got a bit of battery uh, in there. So you can see that switching on, little animation there. Filter not sealed. Okay, let's seal the filter. 
There we go. And then it says fully charged before use. So yes, we're gonna charge it. So you've got different modes, as you can see up there, you've got medium, you've got eco, press it again. And then you've got boost mode there, like I was talking about. Nice and easy really to use. And then once you've selected the mode at the top, you just have to press this, uh, this uh, trigger here and that will begin. So it just starts and stops as you press that into place. Uh, so if I change that now to medium to see how louder it gets. Okay, not too loud. And then boost, which is the mode where it gives extra power, extra humph to suck in those dirt. Ooh. That is loud. So that's louder. And then you get this uh, noisy, not noisy, but this satisfying feedback as well. Every time you release it, it's almost like it's spun and then sort of coming back to stop. So it doesn't go to immediate stop like that. So let's see if you guys, if you guys will be able to hear it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's what that sounds like. But anyway, that's the unboxing. I'm gonna quickly try this out and just show you guys a quick uh, sample of all, how that works. It's also kind of cool how this balances on the battery side as well. So uh, if you guys can see from the top down, so this is actually uh, laying flat on there like that, which is pretty cool. It just balances up design at, at its finest. Uh, Dyson there for you. Before we put it to test, obviously I have to attach the nozzles and stuff like that. So let's quickly do that and then uh, see how that goes. What you can do is attach this one directly like so, if you wish to uh, just get up and close and personal like that. So you can see that. You can see it spinning. Woo! And then detach that. Put that one on. Nice and easy. Then we have the smaller head. Then we even have this even smaller head as well that we're gonna attach onto here. It just offers loads of flexibility. Hard brush. Woo! Now what you also have are, you have three extensions uh, that you can use to extend it further. So if you want something that's a bit longer, not so close to the actual uh, uh, bin itself, you can use one of these uh, extensions uh, to do so. So you've got this one that I showed you earlier that clicks into place and this one that also extends on that flexible uh, middle area there so you can use that as well so we can attach this clicky version and this only works with some of the uh, nozzle heads there the cleaning heads uh, so this will work for example here so you can then allows you to fully go into corners as you wish to do so take that out we have this one here click that into place and then this can be added onto something else as well so and then that can click onto that little bit there as you can see so you can then extend it and then you know use it to get into those tight corners and uh, yeah get cleaning and then we have this one so once you get that into place again you can then add uh, different bits onto the end of it like so you can even add that one onto it if you want to get longer or you can use the the main guy here click that into place And it just works. Boom, I've just put it to test and that works really well. It just sucks everything in and then when you put it uh, into that power mode, the boost mode is just extra powerful. And then on the actual bigger nozzle, the bigger uh, vacuum uh, tip that I put in as well, when you switch it onto the full plus uh, on the size, on the scale, it just sucks in even more power to the extent where the carpet was actually starting to lift up. Uh, that's how strong uh, the suction is. In terms of some of the specifications as well, that's worth uh, knowing as well. This is powered by Dyson's Ipidemia motor, uh, which spins at around 125,000 RPM. Uh, it has a triple diffuser to optimize the balance of power and performance uh, while reducing that turbulence as well and noise. As you can hear, the noise level is really good. It's not too noisy. So even in the middle of the night, if you spot that spider, you can still use it without waking up the whole house.
Dyson says uh, its increased efficiency will generate 20% more powerful suction uh, than the predecessor, which is good to know. You have that 25% uh, cleaner head as well, 25% uh, wider cleaner head, uh, which I mentioned at the start. You also have Dyson's uh, DLS, which is dynamic load uh, sensor. So you get high torque, cleaner, clear the head. Uh, again, just pulls in that power uh, for all that dirt on your carpet as well. Uh, it's got anti-static carbon fiber filaments uh, in there as well that capture dust from hard floors and uh, cr crevices and stuff. So crevices. So again, that's very important for cleaning those nukes and corner in the house where you've got those extra dirt that you need to get rid of. You also get advanced uh, filtration in there. So this Dyson V11 outsize uh, uses a fully sealed uh, filtration system, which captures 99.7% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. Um, you can see that when I was sucking the hair, I picked it up first. So you, can, you guys can see the size, how thin those hair uh, strands are. And it still picks it up very much so. It's very interesting, uh, very cool. You have 18 cyclones, four more than the Dyson V11 cord free vacuum, uh, which generates a force of more than 79,000 Gs uh, to uh, fling microscopic particles into the bin. And I'm, I'm, I can testify to that. It does exactly that. I didn't measure it, but you can see it with my eyes. It does exactly that. So you might be wondering at this point, how much is this going to set you back? It's available to buy now and this is $649.99. Yes, it's a lot of money, uh, but that's a price of premium and something that actually works. And when you buy something like Dyson, this is the sort of price you pay for this. And uh, with loads of different uh, cleaning heads that you get with this and uh, the way that it's so versatile to use and it just works. The battery life is 60 minutes, so an hour, and it doesn't take long to fully charge the battery back up as well. And you've got storage unit, uh, mounting storage solution for the battery as well. So when you're not using it, you can easily mount it away uh, for another day to use it as well. But overall, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's not heavy to, to hold on to as well, just nice and light to hold on to, which is pretty cool. Uh, so. Uh, even when you put the attachments on, it's still not heavy. So yeah, there you have it. So that's it for the Dyson V11 outsize uh, version. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. I'll leave all relevant links in the description area so you guys can do your research and find out more. Uh, but in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification as well, and smash that like button. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, have I said the bell notification already? But anyway, hit it. Hit that bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.